the mastery of fire stands as one of the most transformative mysteries. Where this journey began, how our distant ancestors tamed this primal force, remains a puzzle. With evidence sparse and sites of discovery worlds apart, piecing together this crucial chapter of our history challenges the brightest minds. Let's find out what we know so far. The mastery of fire by early humans was indeed a pivotal technological breakthrough that spurred human evolution. Fire served as a means of warmth, illumination, defense against predators, particularly during the nighttime, an avenue for crafting more sophisticated hunting instruments, and a technique for cooking food. These developments facilitated human migration, spawned cultural advancements, and led to alterations in diet and behavior. Moreover, the ability to produce fire extended human activities into the cooler, darker hours of the night. Estimates for the initial definitive proof of fire control by a Homo species range between 1.7 and 2 million years ago. The consensus among scholars is strong for evidence indicating the microscopic traces of wood ash as a sign of fire usage by Homo erectus, starting around 1 million years ago. Among the earliest confirmed instances of fire control were discovered at the Daughters of Jacob Bridge site in Israel, with dates approximating 790,000 years ago. This site also revealed the oldest probable signs of using fire for cooking around 780,000 years ago. Nonetheless, there are theories proposing that the practice of cooking began approximately 1.8 million years ago. In Morocco, charred flint blades dating back roughly 300,000 years were uncovered alongside fossils of early, though not fully modern, Homo sapiens. Early modern humans systematically utilized fire for thermal treatment of silkrete stones to enhance their splitting qualities for tool creation around 164,000 years ago at the Pinnacle Point site in South Africa. The evidence of widespread fire control by anatomically modern humans is traced back to roughly 125,000 years ago. The mastery and utilization of fire by humans was a gradual journey that unfolded in several phases. One significant phase was a shift in the environment from dense forests, which were prone to natural wildfires, to the savannah, a blend of grass and woodland, where wildfires burned more intensely. Following this environmental shift, early humans began to interact with and explore burned landscapes, similar to various wild animals' behavior observed today. Another step in the evolutionary journey of fire use was exploiting the residual heat from wildfires. Post-fire scenarios often left food either charred or partially cooked, which likely encouraged early humans to experiment with heating food on remaining hot spots or rescuing it from the flames to prevent burning. This behavior indicated a growing understanding and familiarity with fire's properties. An initial form of fire control involved transporting flames from areas that had experienced wildfires to those that hadn't, using fire as a tool to aid in gathering food. The practice of maintaining a fire for prolonged periods, such as through an entire dry season, possibly led to the establishment of permanent campsites. Constructing a hearth or other forms of fire containment, like a ring of stones, represented further advancements in fire management techniques. The final step in mastering fire involved creating it at will, often through friction techniques like using a bow drill with hardwood and softwood. This capability marked a significant milestone in human evolution. These stages of fire use and control varied in intensity and frequency, evolving from occasional or opportunistic use to habitual and ultimately obligatory dependence, illustrating a crucial aspect of human survival and societal development. Much of the evidence suggesting the controlled use of fire during the Lower Paleolithic period remains uncertain, with only modest support from the academic community. 
This skepticism arises partly because some of the findings could also be explained by natural occurrences, leaving room for debate about their origins. The earliest confirmed use of fire is believed to have occurred at Wonderwork Cave in South Africa, dating back to one million years ago. At Wonderwork Cave, meticulous examination of intact sediments through micromorphological analysis and Fourier transform infrared microspectroscopy revealed traces of burned bones and ashed plant remains, indicating fire use at the site around one million years ago. Other sites in East Africa, like Chesawanja near Lake Baringo, Kubi Fora, and Olorja Saili in Kenya, offer potential signs of early human fire management. For instance, in Chesawanja, the discovery of red clay clasts, which would require heating to approximately 400 degrees Celsius, 750 degrees Fahrenheit, to harden, dates back to 1.4 million years ago. However, naturally occurring bushfires could produce similar clasts, making the evidence for controlled fire use at Chesawanja inconclusive. In Kubi Fora, findings suggest Homo erectus could have controlled fire as early as 1.5 million years ago, indicated by reddened sediment from heating. Meanwhile, Swartkrans in South Africa presents possible signs of human fire control, including burned bones, some with cut marks made by hominins, along with stone and bone tools. This site is among the earliest to show evidence of meat-eating habits in Homo erectus. A depression resembling a hearth found in Oloja Sili lacked charcoal and definitive fire signs, with only minimal microscopic charcoal, possibly from natural fires, was detected. Gadeb in Ethiopia yielded fragments of welded tuff that appeared burned, but this could also result from local volcanic activity, complicating the interpretation of controlled fire use. Similarly, cone-shaped depressions in the Middle Awash River Valley, formed by high temperatures, were hypothesized to result from early hominids igniting tree stumps, though this theory isn't broadly accepted. Burned stones in the Awash Valley could also be explained by the presence of volcanic tuff in the area. Notably, burned flints found near Jebel Irhoud, Morocco, and dating back around 300,000 years, were located alongside early Homo sapiens skulls. These flints, believed to have been used as spear tips, may have been left in fires for cooking, suggesting an early use of fire for food preparation by our ancestors. In Shihudu, located in Shangxi province, China, the discovery of mammalian bones with black, blue, and grayish-green hues serves as evidence of exposure to fire by early hominids. Similarly, in 1985, at another site in Yuanmu, Yunnan Province, China, archaeologists unearthed mammal bones with signs of blackening, dating back to 1.7 million years ago, further supporting the notion of early fire use. The Bnot Yaakov Bridge site in Israel presents claims that Homo erectus, or Homo ergaster, had mastered fire control between 790,000 and 690,000 years ago. Advanced spectroscopy powered by artificial intelligence has revealed evidence of fire usage dating back between 800,000 and 1 million years ago. A collaborative research effort by the Wiseman Institute of Science, the University of Toronto, and the Hebrew University of Jerusalem utilized deep learning models to examine the heat exposure of 26 flint tools found in the 1970s at the Evron Quarry in northwest Israel. Their analysis indicated that these tools had been subjected to temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius, suggesting sophisticated use of heat treatment. Moreover, in Trinil, Java, evidence of burned wood was found in strata containing Homo erectus fossils, dating from 830,000 to 500,000 years before the present. This discovery of charred wood alongside early human fossils points to the use of fire 
by hominids during this period, highlighting their evolving interaction with and control over fire for various purposes. The Cave of Hearths in South Africa features burn deposits dating from 700,000 to 200,000 years ago, a timeline shared by several other sites such as Montague Cave, 200,000 to 58,000 years ago, and the Clazies River Mouth, 130,000 to 120,000 years ago. These sites collectively underscore the ancient human interaction with fire. Significantly, Colombo Falls in Zambia offers robust evidence of ancient fire use, marked by discoveries of charred logs, charcoal, carbonized grass, plants, and possibly fire-hardened wooden tools, all dating to around 180,000 years ago as determined through radiocarbon dating and amino acid racemization. In South Africa, the Stilbay culture is noted for its use of fire in the heat treatment of silkrete stones to enhance their napping properties for toolmaking, with this practice dating from 164,000 to 72,000 years ago, beginning around 164,000 years ago. Jokudian Cave in China presents evidence suggesting the control of fire by humans as early as 460,000 to 230,000 years ago. The presence of burned bones, chipped stone artifacts, charcoal, ash, and potential hearths alongside Homo erectus fossils in the site's earliest archaeological layer points to an early mastery of fire. Detailed analysis of bones from the site reveals characteristics consistent with burning rather than mineral staining. Further supported by laboratory reproductions of the observed turquoise coloration on bones through heating. While direct evidence of fire making at Jukudian remains elusive, the association of blackened bones with quartzite artifacts suggests a level of fire control by humans inhabiting the cave during that period. Kesem Cave, near Kavakasim, Israel, shows consistent fire use from before 382,000 to around 200,000 years ago, with evidence including large amounts of burned bone and heated soil lumps. The cut marks on bones indicate butchering activities near fireplaces, and the varying temperatures at which flint tools were heated before napping suggest a sophisticated understanding of fire's utility. The earliest evidence of controlled fire use in the Indian subcontinent dates back to between 50,000 and 55,000 years ago at the main Belan archaeological site in Uttar Pradesh, India. Moreover, sites in Europe like Taralba and Ambrona in Spain and St. Estive Janssen in France demonstrate the use of fire by later Homo erectus populations. The oldest such evidence in England comes from Beach's Pit, Suffolk, where fire use is dated to 415,000 years ago through uranium series and thermoluminescence dating. In Hungary's Vertizolos, while no charcoal was found, burned bones dating back to approximately 350,000 years ago were discovered. Evidence at Terra Amata in France of a fireplace with ashes and at saint esteve janson of five hearths and reddened earth further attests to early human engagement with fire dating back to 200,000 years ago. Additionally, middle Paleolithic Neanderthal hand axes from France show where indicative of being struck with pirate to generate sparks dating around 50,000 years ago highlighting the long-standing human connection with fire-making practices. The harnessing of fire marked a turning point for early hominids, bringing forth a plethora of applications that were pivotal for survival, dietary evolution, and technological innovation. The warmth provided by fire was crucial for enduring the cold of the night, particularly in less hospitable climates facilitating the expansion of hominids into temperate zones beyond their original tropical and subtropical habitats. Crucially, fire transformed eating habits. 
Cooking not only made meat consumption more feasible, but also increased the calorie yield from food. It wasn't long before the methods of drying and smoking meat over fire were discovered, offering ways to conserve food for times of scarcity. Beyond its culinary uses, fire was instrumental in the creation of tools and weapons, essential for hunting and butchering. Moreover, hominids realized that initiating bushfires could enhance land fertility and clear spaces, simplifying hunting endeavors. There's evidence suggesting early hominids employed fire as a strategy to herd and trap animals for hunting. Fire was also utilized to prepare caves for habitation, marking the beginning of shelter use. The multifaceted utility of fire likely contributed to the emergence of specialized social roles, segregating tasks like cooking from hunting, indicating an evolution in societal structure. The mastery of fire led to significant shifts in human behavior, health, energy use, and the capacity to inhabit diverse ecological niches. With the advent of fire, hominids could venture into colder climates, overcoming the challenges posed by the loss of body hair. Indications of advanced biomanagement date back to at least 200,000 to 100,000 years ago. In terms of technological advancements, fire enabled significant progress in the manufacture of tools and weapons. Excavations in Schöningen, Germany, uncovered wooden spears dated to about 400,000 years ago, suggesting the spears were intentionally hardened by fire for use as stabbing weapons, a method corroborated by the discovery of speared animal remains at the site. This tactic indicates a sophisticated understanding of hunting strategies, including ambush. Further evidence from around 164,000 years ago in South Africa shows early humans using fire to modify the properties of silkrete, a fine-grained rock, crafting it into sharp blades or arrowheads. This innovation possibly marks the inception of the bow and arrow, revolutionizing hunting and butchering practices with its extended range and efficiency. The application of fire in tool-making underscores its central role in human technological evolution, from survival to the development of complex weaponry. Fire not only served as a tool for survival and technological innovation, but also played a key role in the birth of art. Archaeologists have unearthed Venus figurines in Europe from the Paleolithic era, ranging in size from 1 to 10 inches. These figurines, some of which were carved from stone and ivory, while others were molded from clay and subsequently fired, represent some of the earliest known examples of ceramic art. Furthermore, fire was integral to the development of pottery, a craft previously believed to have originated in the Neolithic era around 10,000 years ago. However, Discoveries of pottery fragments in the Xianrendong cave in China, dating back approximately 20,000 years, have pushed this timeline further back. By the Neolithic age and during the agricultural revolution, pottery became more prevalent and elaborately decorated with simple designs and geometric patterns. The ability to create and control fire could have led to social stratification, granting certain individuals prestige and higher social standing. Large hearths found at archaeological sites suggest that communities spent much of their nighttime gathered around the fire, which may have played a crucial role in the development of language and social bonds. Such collaboration could have included the participation of older community members like grandparents who contributed to childcare, thus influencing the size and social dynamics of early hominid groups. Fire's impact on human behavior includes altering our circadian rhythms, leading to longer waking hours compared to many other mammals. This shift allowed humans to remain active into the early evening, unlike other primates whose activities are confined from dawn to dusk. The cooking hypothesis suggests 
that cooking played a pivotal role in human evolution, particularly in the expansion of brain size, as proposed by Friedrich Engels and further explored by Richard Wrangham and Susanna Herculano Housel. Despite some skepticism, the hypothesis is supported by evidence showing that cooked foods provide nutrients more efficiently than raw foods, enhancing energy availability and nutrient absorption. This nutritional advantage allowed early humans to meet the growing energy demands of an enlarging brain. Moreover, cooking facilitated the detoxification of food and access to essential nutrients like docosa hexanoic acid, crucial for brain development. As human evolution progressed, changes in the body mass proportion of different organs supported the increased metabolic demands of a larger brain, highlighting the profound impact of fire and cooking on human development. Tougher plant components like stems, mature leaves, roots and tubers were largely inedible due to the raw cellulose and starch they contained. Cooking transformed these previously inaccessible food sources, broadening the dietary spectrum by making starchy and fibrous foods consumable. Raw meat, challenging to chew and digest, particularly with its tough proteins and carbohydrates, became more manageable and nutritious once cooked. The nutritional advantages conferred by cooking are believed to have supported higher survival and reproduction rates among early humans, contributing to population growth. Interestingly, the advent of cooking is suggested to have impacted human anatomy. The use of fire and cooked foods is associated with a gradual reduction in the size of Homo erectus's molar teeth, reflecting a dietary shift from raw, crisp foods to softer, cooked ones. This evolution in diet and cooking practices led to smaller jaws and teeth, a trait distinguishing modern humans from other primates. Additionally, the digestive system of humans adapted to the more easily digestible nature of cooked foods, resulting in a smaller gastrointestinal tract compared to other primates who rely on fermenting raw plant materials. However, the cooking hypothesis has its detractors. Some argue that the linear increase in homo brain volume over time cannot be directly attributed to cooking and fire control. They point to examples like Homo ergaster, which had large brain volumes before clear evidence of cooking with fire. Experimental studies, including those feeding raw versus cooked meat to mice, suggest that the energetic gains from cooked meat may not be as significant as proposed. Critics also highlight that significant evidence of cooking fires appears relatively late in human history, around 250,000 years ago, suggesting that the increase in brain size may have begun earlier due to factors other than cooking, such as the consumption of meat. While fire is undeniably a cornerstone of modern existence, enriching our lives in countless ways, the exact moment of its control and its initial impact on our development remain subjects of ongoing inquiry and debate. What is clear, though, is that mastering fire was a crucial turning point, possibly influencing dietary changes, social structures, and even cognitive evolution. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.